People will not be able to afford the cost of chronic obesity mm -hmm. and diabetes and all of the complications that We're come with spending that. $147 billion a year because of obesity-related uh, conditions. It's tragic when you see some of the compounding factors of obesity, how it shortens lives, how it decreases the quality of life. I've got children that haven't even hit puberty yet, and uh, they've got type 2 diabetes. 27 million Americans as of 2004 have metabolic syndrome. It's a huge, huge worldwide problem. The confusion for most Americans is that we see and hear so much contradictory advice that we don't really understand what to eat for optimal health. The public is confused because what the media and special interest groups and large corporations selling foods, etc., would like you to currently believe is a fact keeps on being changed. Fructose is the cause of the current epidemic. Mother Nature gave us fructose. Cut down on processed meats. Whole grain cereal. Whole grain with omega-3. I'm a vegetarian. I'm vegan. Whole wheat pasta with meat sauce. Beef is bad, soy is good. Absolutely. The longest running and most comprehensive and the largest number of people in the actual group of research that has ever been done on the human diet is called the history of the world. The evolution by natural selection is the most powerful idea in all of medicine and biology. Our nutritional requirements are shaped by our evolution. I study bone chemistry as a way of getting at what the diets of people and animals were in the past. These people were now becoming more and more meat eaters. If we had stayed as vegetarians, I wouldn't be speaking to you on this particular high level. The original diet that kept us healthy for generation after generation after generation that because we're not eating anymore, we're not healthy. We are so far off base from what we are genetically programmed to eat. We have smaller brains as a result of eating grains. We have more scrunched up noses we can breathe through. So I think we can find our way out of the obesity epidemic. I mean, the techniques are there to get us out of it, whether people choose to adopt those. We've made a lot of mistakes here, and, and uh, hopefully uh, we can turn this around.